Hello, hello, and welcome back to my hardcore survival world. In the last episode, we built a little... We decided on a spot for a house, and we started to go mining. Um, I finished up that mining trip. We got nine diamonds. That's a good start. Um, about two stacks of iron. That's pretty nice. I also found some amethyst, and I grabbed that gravel that we need for our concrete for the house. And I had to stop mining because I was out of food. All I've got is this rotten flesh and a carrot, which I want to grow. So, we're going to keep that. And now I'm just going to find my way home. And I think we can probably start to build the house and plan that out, now that we have materials for concrete. Alright, here we are. Recognize this little area with the island in the middle. And home should be just over there. Oh. Never mind, I'm wrong. It's right here. Whoops. Perfect. We're home safe. We can store all this stuff. Oh yeah, I also got another music disc. It's Maloha. Different from the one we have already, so that's good. Now, we've got some bones. We've got our sand and gravel. Three stacks of each is good. And we can make our bone meal. Turn that into white dye. And now we can make this. Excellent. I'm going to need some more bones to make more dye, but having this, what is this, um, almost five stacks, that's going to be enough to start, at least. It's going to be a good start. So I'm going to turn all these into actual concrete powder. Or maybe I could just build with them and then pour water on them. I think that's probably a good idea. So we're going to need a bucket for that, and I'm going to need a new pickaxe as well. Because mine's almost broken. At least now we can start making tools out of iron instead of stone. Good upgrade. Alright, let's get to work. Oh, we have a wandering trader. Hello. Um, yeah, these guys usually don't have anything that useful. I would probably buy some cactus if I could afford it, but, um... Oh, look at that. There's some leather and, uh, lead on the ground. That's cool. I wonder where that came from. In order to solve our food situation temporarily, I'm just going to kill a bunch of these fish. There's actually a lot of them in here. Do they respawn? I have no idea how animal spawning mechanics work. I feel like at some point they used to not respawn and they used to just come with world generation. But I think they might respawn now. I'm not 100% sure. We should probably sleep though. Oh, is that a zombie in gold armor? Ouch. Already? Guess we are in hard mode. Yeah, let's sleep and cook this food up. Alright, I've cleared out a pretty sizable area for this stuff, for the house. At least for now. I might have to expand it later when I build other things, like villager housing, maybe. But for now, this is good. This is plenty for the house. So I'm just going to build up the walls like this. Oops. Just go around and place all these. Alright. We've got the base built up, and I've got a bit of an entrance going. Right here. And climb up these stairs. Ooh, very nice. And then... I've got kind of the layout for the walls set up, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Looking good. I'm gonna need more white dye. So I can make, um, some glass for that and more concrete eventually. So I probably won't be sleeping through the night for a little while. Gotta get bone meal. But it's going pretty well so far. I'm gonna get some glass and finish this up. Got an interesting little idea over here for the wall. We build it out of stairs like this and place them like that. Then we can have a bit of a pattern inside and it can also be on the outside so the outside wall isn't quite as flat. Let's put that and that. There we go. I think that looks interesting. It's something. Oh, I could make it go all the way along this wall too if I wanted. Might be... A good idea to do that. Let's get some more. There we go. Just like that. That's nice. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 
finish up this wall with the glass then. Okay, all done. Got our wall set up. Now I just need a roof on this thing and we're good to go. Mm, yeah. Probably make it a slab roof, just so it's a little bit taller. And it'll add a little bit more interesting aspect to the walls. I think we should have enough powder to fill this in, though. We were just too short. I'm gonna get some more white dye, then. See if I can get another music disc here. Ow. Okay. Uh, this is too risky. I don't like this. Get me out of here. I'm about to die. Get inside. Okay. House should be pretty safe. Unless they figure out how to climb up the stairs. I do need more food, though. Maybe there's some more in here. Did I leave some in here? Some food. Uh, I got apples, I guess. Rotten flesh. Cook some extra iron. Jeez, I'm almost dead already, and it's only day seven. Survived one week. Okay. Oh! Thank God, shields block explosions. Okay, I got a bone. Get me out of here. Yeah, I'll probably extend that pattern all the way down the wall. Okay, now I just need to make this into die. Luckily, there it's three die per bone, so it's pretty easy to get lots of it. I need this. Alright. Um, I'm probably gonna need some more wood. I might as well sleep then for that. And then... I'm gonna fish for a little bit, get some food, and then I think we should be good to go. What is this? Get away from me. Oh, chain leggings. That's cool. These mobs are too powerful. Fishing time. Hopefully catch, like... Uh... Man, is it even worth fishing? I should probably just kill these fish in the pond. That's a better idea. We'll just keep doing this for a while until we run out of fish. Alright, here we go. This should be enough wood to complete the ceiling, I think. For sure. And then I'm just gonna extend that stairs pattern all the way down the wall. And... We'll be done with the first, like, version of the house. The first room. We'll add more onto it later when we get a reason to. Such as an enchantment table room. I think we'll have to start doing that soon. But we do need cows for that, and I don't have any cows captured. I need to start doing farming. So I think after this, once we're done with the house, I'll build some farms, capture some cows, and then plant some sugarcane so we can get started on that on those bookshelves supply. And then maybe I'll do some surface exploring. We'll find like a village or something. Probably be good. I want to get villagers here eventually, but I hate transporting them, so I'll probably just get all my villagers from zombie village villager curing. So we'll need to go to the nether for that, but that should be fine. Almost done filling in the ceiling here. Oh, that was probably too many slabs, but we can use them later. Oh, I just used up all my birch wood. Now I can't make the stairs that I wanted to. I'll have to go get more. But, there we go. Need some lighting, but we'll do that. In just a second. Nice and easy. Somehow a creeper got inside the house. Uh, God, that scared me so much. While I was crafting, a creeper got in here. Followed me, I guess, but... It must have exploded on the stairs and just barely saw me, and all these blocks protected me. Um, yeah, I'm lucky I didn't die. <sighs> that scared me. That was horrible. Okay. 
Well, I better put a door out there. Right away. Jeez, that could have ended everything. Right there. Ah, that was scary. Wish I would have had it on pause at the time. It re the recording. Oh well. Um, uh, anyways. I added a little bit of this, I added this little nook here to the room. Just to give it more shape and also have a place to put my bed. Uh, I was just about to craft some stairs to put on the sides of the house. Hmm. Okay. I think I might want to fence around the house too, just to stop the mobs from even getting close. Let's put a door on that thing, and I'll have to move my chest in soon as well. Uh, yeah, I definitely need some more safeguard things. Once I get my armor all maxed out, I probably will go for maybe blast protection on one of the armor pieces, just in case. Because I don't want to get blown up and die. That would be horrible. But let's get these uh, stairs placed in. Probably should replace this then, and since I'm not going to be down here on this floor, I'll probably just fill these in. They look the same anyways. Yeah, that looks good, I think. And we'll get the other side done. Alright, I've got all my chests moved into the house and other furniture. Got a chest for blocks and a chest for non-blocks. And another empty chest for something later. I don't know. Once I expand the house and build a dedicated storage room, I will sort those out a little bit better, but for now that's fine. I think the next thing we want to do is probably get those cows and farms sorted. I'll make a carrot farm for now. I would like to get potatoes, but I don't think we have those at the moment, so carrots it is. Alright, I've got a bit of a farm set up. We got wheat growing here. There's the carrots, and I brought a couple uh, cows in using the lead that we got earlier. So, doing good. We'll be able to grow those cows up pretty soon. And then I just want to plant some sugar cane. Oh, it's dark in here. I forgot. Mobs are going to spawn. We got to take care of that, too. But here we go. And just plant all this all along the shore. Industrial sugarcane farming. There we go. That's a lot. Should be able to make a good amount of paper with that for our books. And let's just light inside here. Up. Oh, make it nice and bright. Probably want a couple extra torches. And get these put away. That too. Okay. Probably monsters. There are monsters in here that I need to fight first. You. There you are. Okay. Actually, we probably won't need that many torches. There. That should be enough. Good. Let's patch that up. I might use that space for something eventually. I'm not sure. I kind of like being elevated, though. So, yeah. I think we'll... For the next expansions, we'll build a second floor. Or we'll build in this direction a bit. Probably have a door branching off. Or just an open space. But since we're just waiting and sitting around and waiting for now to have those crops grow and the cows do their thing... Um, I think it might be a good idea to go collect some obsidian. And just get the materials we need to make our enchantment table. So, diamond pickaxe, get that. And we've got 23 levels already. So we can do some small enchantments. Get some level 1 or 2 whatever's on there. 
just so we can have like efficiency and protection and keep ourselves a little bit more safe. But I got a water bucket and we'll go find a cave so we can get some obsidian. I also want to collect some ink sacs so we can make gray dye because I want to have some accents on the building with gray concrete. Some extra decorations to make it look a little bit less plain. I think that'll look good. I've got something in mind already. You guys will see it later once I make that thing. Could also tame some wolves. But for now we do need the bones. Oh, we can just steal obsidian from this uh, portal thing. Forgot about this. Yeah, we can just take this stuff and get just four for an enchantment table. I might want to get a little extra. Mm. Yeah, I'll just stay here and get enough for a portal as well. It should, shouldn't take too long. Alright, here we are back home with 14 obsidian. It's enough to make another portal and a, an enchantment table. So I'm gonna kind of decorate the portal with these gold blocks. I think that's probably the only use I have for them right now. I think that'll look nice. And let's make that enchantment table. So leather, um, sugar cane, and our diamonds. Paper, book, enchantment table. I really like the crafting guide, even though I know most of the recipes. Just because it allows me to click. I like just clicking on it and automatically shifting the materials over. But let's get this put down right here for now, I guess. And let's see. What enchantments can we get? Be nice to have unbreaking on the pickaxe right away. Nice, I'm breaking in efficiency. Good. And let's enchant this armor up. Protection, protection. Um... I guess it's going to be projectile protection. And I'm breaking, I guess. It's not great, but whatever. This is fine. Just having that little bit of extra defense, just so I don't die. I think it'll be worth it. Eventually I'll build an Enderman farm, and we'll be able to get levels and enchant everything up really easy. Here we go. Gold block. And then we can build the portal. Where should I put it, though? I'm not sure. Thinking outside for now. I can always mine it up later. We'll go out and build this portal. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just throw it in front of the house for now. Is it going to be centered? I don't think so. Uh, put it over here, I suppose. Or just... Um, you know what, let's dig into the house. Could have kind of a basement down here, anyways. Uh, right here might be nice. Maybe here? I'll figure it out. Alright, here we go. Um, I built this little portal room kind of into the basement area. So, you can step in from outside. Um, it's a little weird. But I think it'll work. And then I could also expand this way for the enchantment table room. Kind of have a magic-oriented basement. But, yeah. I think this looks alright. It's not too bad. Uh, let's light this thing. And maybe check out what area we've got in the nether near our portal. I already had a flint and steel from the portal chest. Ruin portal. Maybe if we're lucky we'll spawn right into a nether fortress. Let's go, what do we got? Ah. Um, I'm not a fan of this biome at all. Not a fan. Let's see. Maybe there will be a fortress nearby, just like right outside this cave or something. Ah, uh, we're trapped in a cave, aren't we? Hmm. Um, I don't see much of anything interesting out here. Do I have my food on me? Okay. At least I've got food. 
Yeah, I don't see much out here. Oh, what is that? Is that a bastion or is that just some, some weird terrain? That's just terrain. Okay. I think finding a fortress is going to be a much more invested um, adventure. So we're just going to get out of here for now and not worry about it. We don't need it just yet. One nice thing, though, is that we have all these bone structures lying around. So we can use those for bone meal for the house and for farming. White dye, stuff like that. So that is one good thing. I'm happy about that. Wait, that looks like a structure kind of over there. What is that? Oh, no, it's not. It's just... Wait, is that something? No, that's netherrack. Okay. Gotta be hopeful. Um, but let's grab a few of these for the house, I think. We can also grow some wheat so we can get those car those cows breeding right away. It's gonna take a while to get a bunch of them. I might go out and explore and kill some wild cows for leather, too. It's probably a good idea. Alright, here we are. That actually was pretty helpful. We got bone meal. So we can grow those crops and breed those cows. I'll probably sit AFK for a little while off camera and let the wheat grow and also breed the cows every once in a while just so we can get that going and then at the start of the next episode we should have a full enchantment table I think. Let's get all these. There we go. And we'll have seeds so we can spread this just like this. Uh, perfect. And we'll breed these cows. And then I also want to grow my carrots. We'll get those going. And we have a sustainable food source, so I don't have to keep going fishing every time I want food. Make this nice and easy on us. I do want to get potatoes eventually, so we can cook those, because they're better than carrots, cooked potatoes. There we go. Now we just leave them for a little while. I think I'll end the episode right here. We made, we did a lot of stuff. We got a lot done. Very good here. Got our house all built up. We've got some farms and we built our nether portal. Also collected a whole bunch of materials mining. So that's great. Hope you like this video. Leave a like if you did and make sure to hit that subscribe button. At 200 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a special event. So let's get to that goal. I joined the discord server in the description to see more of my cool projects and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.